أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نون by the pen and by the record which men write you are not by the grace of your lord mad or possessed nay verily for you is a reward unfailing and you stand on an exalted standard of character soon will you see and they will see which of you is afflicted with madness verily it is your lord that knows best which among men has strayed from his path and he knows best those who receive true guidance so hearken not to those who deny the truth their desire is that you should be pliant so would they be pliant heed not the type of despicable man ready with oaths a slanderer going about with calumnies habitually hindering all good transgressing beyond bounds deep in sin violent and cruel with all that base born because he possesses wealth and numerous sons when to him are rehearsed our signs tales of the ancients he cries soon shall we brand the beast on the snout Verily we have tried them as we tried the people of the garden when they resolved to gather the fruits of the garden in the morning but made no reservation if it be Allah's will then there came on the garden a visitation from your lord which swept away all around while they were asleep so the garden became by the morning like a dark and desolate spot whose fruit had been gathered as the morning broke they called out one to another Go you to your tilth betimes in the morning if you would gather the fruits so they departed conversing in secret low tones saying let not a single indigent person break in upon you into the garden this day and they opened the morning strong in an unjust resolve but when they saw the garden they said we have surely lost our way indeed we are shut out of the fruits of our labor said one of them more just than the rest did i not say to you why not glorify allah they said glory to our lord verily we have been doing wrong then they turned one against another in reproach they said alas for us we have indeed transgressed it may be that our lord will give us in exchange a better garden than this for we do turn to him in repentance such is the punishment in this life but greater is the punishment in the hereafter if only they knew verily for the righteous are gardens of delight in the presence of their lord shall we then treat the people of faith like the people of sin what is the matter with you how judge you or have you a book through which you learn that you shall have through it whatever you choose Oh have you covenants with us on oath reaching to the day of judgment providing that you shall have whatever you shall demand ask you of them which of them will stand surety for that or have they some partners in godhead then let them produce their partners if they are truthful the day that the shank shall be laid bare and they shall be summoned to prostrate in adoration but they shall not be able their eyes will be cast down ignominy will cover them seeing that they had been summoned a fourth time to prostrate in adoration while they were in good shape and had refused then leave me alone with such as reject this message by degrees shall we punish them from directions they perceive not long respite will i grant them truly powerful is my plan or is it that you do ask them for a reward so that they are burdened with a load of debt or that the unseen is in their hands so that they can write it down so wait with patience for the command of your lord and be not like the companion of the fish when he cried out in agony had not grace from his lord reached him he would indeed have been cast off on the naked shore in disgrace thus did his lord choose him and make him of the company of the righteous
and the unbelievers would almost trip you up with their eyes when they hear the message, and they say, Surely he is possessed. But it is nothing less than a message to all the worlds.